So with the moves, tolerance, and measures, our model is complete. We can run our analysis. Our analysis allows us to specify a number of builds that we're going to simulate, as well as if we want to check our sensitivity. Our sensitivity is going to give us the sources of our variation in the model. So for this case, I'm going to run 2,000 simulated builds. What this is going to do is it's going to simulate uh, 2,000 unique combination of parts, assemble those parts with their tolerances applied, and then track a track the measures for each one of those unique builds and add that as a sample for our statistics here. So from our 2,000 builds, we get our analysis results. This top half here is our um, statistics. So looking at this first gap of the power button, nominally 0.1. Uh, mean, also 0 0.1, so no mean shift. Uh, six standard range, 0.45. So that's the amount of variation that we're seeing for this gap there. Um, so that's plus or minus 0.225. And then based off of our spec limits, we can see how many samples were falling outside of our uh, lower spec, how many fell outside of our upper spec, and how many fell outside the total. So because our lower spec was set to zero, this is basically telling us it crashed. Correct. So for 8%, or sorry, for 10% of those 2,000 builds, we were seeing an interference condition uh, between this button and this button plate. And that's shown in the histogram here. So all of these samples could have an interference condition. 